Got it. Let's go. Fog, rain, sun and light, we've had it all in the space of about five minutes. It's an odd sort of day, but I think an odd sort of day is a great sort of day to go and do some forest photography. We were gifted with a bit of mist this morning, which unfortunately has already lifted, but I've got my fingers crossed that some more low cloud might come through this forest again today. We've got a nice, simple, wide shot here of this forest scene. I have popped a polarizing filter onto the end of my lens just to reduce the glare and highlights of all the plants in this scene as it has been raining quite a bit, so everything is pretty wet right now. And it will also exaggerate and bring back some of those vibrant, lush forest green colors. I'm then gonna take a second shot within the same scene, this time doing ICM photography, which is intentional camera movement. Now this is a type of photography I do not do often, but a forest scene is a pretty good location to experiment with this style of photography. Now within this scene, all of my subjects, the trees are vertical, so we're just gonna do a gentle up and down motion. Not sure if I'm gonna love or hate it, but I'm interested to know what you think as well. So let me know in the comment section down below and I'll show you the two images now. In the end, I'm not so sure about this shot, it feels quite busy, however, I quite enjoy the ICM version. This area is jam-packed, there is a lot to look at, a lot to take in, so today I'm going to do instinctive photography where I'm just going to capture whatever I am drawn to, regardless whether the image is successful or not. If you don't grab an image in the spur of the moment in a place like this, where everything is very chaotic, it all looks the same, it's quite vast, you're unlikely to find it a second time. The whole point of today is to gather some test shots, inspiration to record this area, get some inspiration for future shoots where I can come back in hopefully more favourable conditions and really work on creating a set of portfolio shots. It is raining again and this time it has brought some low cloud with it but it's all over here and this place is a maze and I'm trying to rush over there so I to see if I can find a quick foggy, oh wow, um, 
composition. <laughs> but this is not this is not easy to navigate through. <laughs> I've got to find a composition quick. <laughs> it's a race against the mist. Nothing's jumping out to me. I don't have anything in mind. I need something to just launch itself into my face and go this, take a picture of this. That mist just came up this hill so quickly and lifted. It's gone already. I had two minutes to find something and I didn't manage to spot anything. Nothing was jumping out at me, but it is still raining to my delight. So hopefully, fingers crossed, a third wave of mist comes rolling through these trees. So we better go find some ideas just in case it does. Typically, I have found a potential composition <laughs> just as the fog has disappeared. But we're going to take a test shot now and I'm not really going to hang around to see if the mist comes back at all because it might not and if it does I could be stood here for quite some time and I really do want to get on with scouting the rest of this woodland. Now I think I was drawn to this shot here for the colours and the tones. We've got this beautiful mossy ground. I quite like how the light is catching these tree trunks and then in the foreground here we've got nice soft greens and purple pinky colours. Now I do think some mist, some fog behind these trees would really complement all of these colours. But as I said, I'm not going to hang around <laughs> too long to see if we do get it, because I do want to be productive elsewhere. Stop training. It's an odd sort of day. The sun is out. It's very bright. And so we're going to take this opportunity to keep scouting, keep exploring this area to see what we can find, what pockets of trees that we can get into the inspiration bank for a future shoot. Hmm. This is pretty cool. Now I could easily go handheld here, but I like to set up on a tripod because it forces me to slow down and really think about what I'm doing. And since framing up this scene, I've gone from being really intrigued by it to not really being sure or fussed about it at all. There are a lot of trees in one space. It's not easy to get a separation between each one so that the scene is sort of easy to look at. The ones in the front are almost silhouetted when I frame it up because of the lack of light coming from this direction. The light is somewhat backlit, but then you just get that impression of how dense and deep this forest is by how you can see just continuous trees behind these ones in the front. In a wide shot, there's a cluster of trees on the right that looks a bit messy to me, but if I get rid of it and crop in, I'm not particularly fond of that composition. I've also tried going a bit more to the side and kind of trying to get that curve in this pathway, but I'm also not feeling that as well. I might be overthinking this composition, but I'm feeling the need to be a bit more deliberate now with my images, with my shots. And this one is just sitting on kind of the edge of uncertainty for me. So take a test shot. If I like it, I'll whack it in the video, but I think otherwise we're just gonna, we're just gonna move on.
good scout. Where to next? 